In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a JVC TV, flat screen TV that no longer turns on. The screen stays black. Now, it doesn't matter, like I said, if it's a newer TV, let's say it's a smart TV. This particular one is a Roku smart. But even if it's an older TV before smart came out five, ten years ago, this method will still work. So follow me. There's going to be a few troubleshoot uh, techniques I'm going to show you to work. First of all, is check your HDMI ports on the back and if you have any USB ports and make sure that there's uh, basically unplug everything except the power cord. So if you have a Roku device, which if you have a JVC Roku you wouldn't, or let's say uh, an Xbox or a PlayStation, go ahead and unplug everything from the JVC except the power cord and then see if you're able to turn it on. Also with your power cord, make sure it's fully connected to the TV. Sometimes they wiggle off. Make sure you plug it in completely tight and to see if it's on. Now we're going to do a soft reset. And to do a soft reset, the only thing you do is unplug it from the wall and you're going to give it you want to give it about a full minute. And you want to wait. And then after a full minute, you want to plug it back in and then you want to see if it works again. Okay, if it does not turn on, what we're, what we're going to do is do a power cycle. So what we're going to do is point the remote towards the JVC, hold down the power button for at least 30 seconds. And if even if you don't have a remote, still stay with me. Okay, after 30 seconds, go either to the front of the TV or the back. So some JVCs will have the power button below here. And some will actually have it right here. So on this one, it's right here. And what we're going to do is hold the power button down for 30 seconds. So we're still doing a power cycle. Okay, release. And then after that, I want you to unplug the TV. Okay, if you had it plugged up, go ahead and unplug it. And again, hold the power button for 30 seconds on both the remote and the TV. All right, so we tried both of that. They don't work. Now what I want you to do is look at your power outlet here. And what I want you to do is try another device on the power outlet that you, you were using your TV on. And so I have a, power, I have a hair dryer here. So I want to test the hair dryer out on this power outlet. You can do a laptop, a smartphone, whatever you have. And if those don't work, then you know the issue is not with your TV, it's with the power outlet. If that's the case, most likely the circuit board tripped. So locate, locate the circuit board in the house or the apartment and turn the power back on and then plug the TV back in and then see if it works. So it could have easily been the power just tripped. Okay, next thing I want you to do Speaking of hair, hair dryers, go ahead and get you a hair dryer. And what we're going to do is we're going to warm up the components on the back of the TV. So on this particular TCL, or yeah, on the back of this JVC rather, this is not a TCL. On the back of this one, we're going to warm up the vents here and here. Wherever you see vents, we're going to warm the TV up with a hair dryer. You're going to use high air pressure, warm heat. Not hot, but warm. Make sure the TV's unplugged before you do this. And we're going to do this for a good 15 minutes. Okay, now after you warmed up the components, do not plug it back in. Give it another you know give it about 30 minutes and then plug it in so what you're doing here is you're actually blowing the dust off of the components on the back of the JVC and you're also warming the components up to change the chemistry a tad to where it would work again possibly alright now tell me if your TV works okay now I want you to physically check the power cord and make sure that there's no damage on it and if you're able to unplug it from the back of the TV which most of the JVC's you can it's going to expose 
uh, a female input like this. Now this particular one is a non-polarized AC power cord. It's a figure eight, and a lot of JVCs will look like this. Some will actually look like this, but has a square end on just one end. That's called a polarized AC power cord. And there are some that's just triple, like a triangle, triple holes. Look around your home and see if you got another one that looks just like this. They're used in printers like HP printers, Epson. Um, they're used on Xboxes, Playstations, uh, CPAP machines, a whole bunch of different devices use these power cords. If you got one, go ahead and temporarily try it out on your JVC. If it works, then you know that the only thing you need is a new power cord. You can get these on Amazon or eBay for as little as 10 bucks, and I'll put a I'll put on the comment section exactly where you can get them. All right. If that doesn't work, you may as well just um, donate the TV or recycle it, because you know by the time you try to fix it, it's going to cost well over a hundred bucks, and you may as well not throw good money after bad. Uh, as, uh, you know, if the TV's only let's say a year past warranty, it's only a couple of years old then okay, maybe have someone look at it. But if your TV's over, you know, four or five years old, you know, spend that hundred bucks that you uh, hire a technician for to, um, to put it towards a new TV. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.